Hey, what's up YouTube? But it's been a while since I've done a video other than my Ridge luggage I did the other day, but I've been off for uh, actually a couple of years. One of the things I started collecting after sunglasses and uh, some watches was uh, the Ridge brand. Uh, they started with wallets. Just going to kind of go over my collection, kind of show you what I got and uh, the ones that I use. So this is just a small part of the collection here. I have about, uh, let me see, six key cases here. This one here, you can kind of see the blue flakes in it. That one's the uh, carbon. It's a forged carbon with, uh, I think it's called, let me see what the name of that one is, the Forged Pacific. And then this is a uh, Hennessy edition that they made for 2022, uh, Hennessy collaboration. Have a Hennessy collaboration for 2023 here. It's got orange, the 22 is red. And then there's matching wallets for those we'll go over in a minute. I uh, have the 24 karat uh, real gold plated key case. There's another one still wrapped, never opened. And then just the regular carbon fiber weave. And then down here, uh, just uh, one of the wallets that I have. It's uh, part of the new powder collection. I think it's called Sea Glass. It's like a light powder blue. Kind of surprised they didn't do those as a part of an Easter collection. Uh, but there's a couple more in there and we'll go over that here in a minute. This collection here, this part, there's a seven here. These are the ones that I actually use. Uh, I keep them in this uh, alpaca zipper pouch. I think it's called the, I'm not sure what the exact name of it is, but it's kind of like a, a wrist wristlet that uh, you can use, but it's uh, got enough to hold five or six of the wallets. So I kind of keep them in there if I travel. Uh, but these are the ones I typically have right now. I'm using the real Damascus steel one. Now they sell Damascus ones now, but that's actually not real Damascus steel. They had a short run of the real Damascus ones, and um, I actually just uh, received this one. It's a beautiful wallet, um, but it is prone to scratching really easily. I've got a few minor scratches in it, but uh, I have another one that I display. This is a leather one. Uh, it's called Tobacco Brown. I'll flip that over. It has a different cash strap on it. Uh, if you can see this middle part here, it's a piece of leather also. It really helps hold the, the uh, money in there if you carry money. I don't carry money very often, but when I do, I like to use those. And what I've done is purchase some of those uh, that match the black leather one and actually um, have changed it to some of the other wallets. If you see here, this one has the black leather uh, cash strap on it because it has some money in it. And uh, uh, that one's really cool. So I'm kind of excited about starting to use that. This is the matching Hennessy 2023 wallet. I also have one that I just display, but I use that one. I've got a row here of the uh, newer Damascus. These are not real Damascus. They're just a uh, an etched aluminum. Uh, this is the black Damascus. It's a beautiful wallet. This is the regular Damascus. It was the first one that came out after the real Damascus still up there. Due to some issues just of taking care of this one, they went to this version and then they've uh, added the black. And then this one is also the, uh, this is the burnt Damascus. It's got a really cool look to it. Initially, when I got it, I actually wasn't gonna buy this one. Uh, and I wound up buying it, and it's probably one of the ones I use the most. That one, uh, the Hennessy, just because of the weight, and then that one are the ones that I use the most. And then I've got the uh, real 18 karat gold uh, wallet. It was the first gold piece they made, and then they went from 18 to 24. I also have one of each of the gold ones that are still sealed. So that's kind of the ones that I use, uh, those seven there, and then this one's just over here because it's actually for sale. All those key cases are for sale too. I have realized I don't use them, so I'm not going to uh, keep them. So that's kind of the first part of my collection. Then we'll go over here, and we're gonna get to some more. So here's uh, one shelf I have of them. I have 24 here on this shelf. You can see the uh, Neon Tiki up there in the corner, and then there's the regular Tiki, uh, the OD Green, uh, that's a real cool wallet there. It's called the Stonewash. It, uh, if you're real hard on wallets, that one's a good one to get just because it already has scratches in the design. So you don't have to worry about scratching it up. Uh, it's part of the design, actually. Uh, there's like an OD green or military green that's in the titanium. So those are basically the same wallet, but this is a titanium one. And then that one there is the aluminum. And then uh, this one's called the Hyper Lime. Uh, that is a uh, Ridge Red wallet. Um, it's, I think that has a, it's a, it's a collaboration with a, um, an AIDS organization that tries to find the cure for AIDS. I'm not hundred percent sure on that, but, uh, that's uh, one I bought about a year ago. 
Then we have some of the carbon ones here. There's a, a forged gold. That one's the forged Pacific. If you remember earlier, I also have the key case for that. The regular forged carbon, the uh, forged carbon uh, ash, and then you have the uh, ember there. And that's a really popular one. I'm not a big fan of that one because I'm not a big fan of red, but I actually like that ash one there and then uh, the, uh, the blue one. On the next row here, you've got the uh, forest green one. This forest green one can only be purchased on uh, on Amazon, so it's one that uh, not a lot of people know about. That one there is the uh, regular weave carbon fiber, been out for a long time. There's another weave here, it's called the, the red one, red carbon. One thing I noticed in this in the design is uh, you can see the individual plates. I wasn't real happy with the way that that one came out, but. It is what it is. I, I don't use these. So other than the ones over there, I really don't use them. This one here is the uh, Navy. And then you've got the uh, blue titanium. Cobalt is what they call that, cobalt blue. And then that's the aluminum gold. Now that's not real gold, but it's uh, just a gold um, paint on it. And then these over here are some topographic ones. That's called the Blue Dome, the North Shore. Uh, there's a green one here. I'm not sure what the name of that one is again. Then you got the Narrows and then the Denali. You can kind of see uh, that one just because of the color of it. It's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the design, the topographical map. And then the Base Camp Orange. So those are the 24 basic ones. Those don't, uh, you know, nothing real spectacular about those, but they're just uh, there for display. Up here on the next shelf, I also collect Oakley sunglasses. I thought this one went well with uh, the old Fuente Antics. This one's a Marco Saratelli. He's a tattoo artist and he did a collaboration with them. Um, so I have that one there. That's one that I actually use. And then we'll go over here to the other case. And you'll see here, there's another Marco Saratelli right there. Um, that one is just for display. You remember one of the ones that I use also is that Hennessy 23 version. That's one just for display. So I have one I use and then one that I display. These two are probably a couple of my prized Oakley wallets, kind of like the real Damascus. These were made by the artist 1000. It's called the 1000 Bunnies. He did two different ones. Uh, the one up there is called the 1000 Bunnies, the one that's colorful, and then the 1000 uh, Moonlight Bunnies is the black and white one. I would uh, use those, but I've only got one of each, so uh, I have recently uh, purchased a couple other ones, so once I get those in, I'll be able to actually uh, put those in my wear rotation. But as for now, just uh, just for display. This is a little more of the uh, powder collection I was talking to you about. Uh, it's got the uh, blue or the sea glass up top, and then on the left side is the uh, eucalyptus, and then that one there is the lavender on the right. All of my wallets, every one of them, have the cash strap. I don't use the uh, money clip. Now, some of them come with a cash strap and a money clip, but uh, you know, if it does, I always just use the cash strap. And then down here at the bottom, just the last of my collection. Those there in the back, you can see there's an 18 karat gold, a 24 karat gold, and then the Damascus. Now again, that's not the real Damascus, but I do have another real Damascus. Um, those are all still in the wrapper, never opened. And then that one there in the middle, it's not an official Ridge wallet. It's the only one I have that's not Ridge, uh, just because uh, I support Thin Blue Line and my uh, wife got that one for me. And then down here is the last of my collection. There's another uh, 24 karat gold one there. And this one here is the 2022 Hennessy uh, collaboration. This is a Chael Sonnen UFC uh, wallet. Those are actually numbered. I have number 10 uh, out of a thousand. I had 18, but I sold it. Here's another one of the real Damascus. One, one thing you can tell if it's the real Damascus, if it's an official Ridge wallet, if it's the real Damascus, it will say Damascus under the Ridge. Um, and it's a little bit older design, but those are very hard to come by. This is the black leather I was telling you about. You can kind of see the cash strap on it. One thing about the leather ones is they have a tendency to very easily scar and mar. Uh, and then this is the Mopain Wood one here. And that one there, again, only available on Amazon. This is uh, my black titanium and I have the uh, quick draw on the outside of it. I actually have some writing on the bottom of that for one of my recent promotions at my job, but it's covered by that. 
And then there's another one of the laser uh, etched Damascus ones. Again, not real Damascus like this one here. You can see it says Damascus on this one. This one does not. But anyway, that's my collection. I have a little over 50, I think total. I have uh, 51 or 52. And that's all of them uh, kind of on display there. And then these over here, the ones I wear and actually, you know, use. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them.